and we just do our thing. Like, like we look at it. If we look, we look at the lens. Gotcha. Awesome. All right. Cool. All right. So I'm Sean. Uh, I'm from Max Special Rouge, Sean Rouge, Second Dan. Uh, I'm Jeffrey. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not doing that shit. We're just, uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Good. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's just yeah. Jeff's face makes me laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no offense. Um, <sighs> let's go through an application from Peanut and Sundown, one of my favorite characters. Sure. So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to punch towards my chest. Mm -hmm. uh, left hand. Left hand? Yeah. So you're going to block. Grab the wrist. Add in a rip strike. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do, turn the wrist up. Sorry, moving here. Turn the wrist up. That yep. way you get this strength. Hulk it around, make him stand up, and as you do this, hand on the wrist, you're gonna add a bit of pressure by standing up. Yeah, you see that tap? Mm -hmm. Wrist down, elbow up. Yep, got there it. you go. And so from the kata, sorry. There you go. Cool. Awesome. Very cool. Um, let's see. Um, for Piala and Idan, we do, so if you're on the side, we do, well, everyone does this for Pian Lanida, but yours is trade <laughs> different names apparently. One, two, and three. Mm. So for what we think, I'm grabbing one here, punch, right? Punch is soft, points, or wouldn't punch, don't punch his forehead, you break your knuckle, right? Mm. So one, from here I pull you in, I punch his chest, bang! From here okay, I, I still have control. And then punch him again. Okay? That's our what we would do. Well, you could do for the start of Pyongan Iran for Sobakdo and Pyongan or Pinan Shoda. <laughs> so interesting, Pinan Shodan for us, it's like middle block and upper block come out, so it goes one, two blocks. Yeah. Then it's crashing down and pull and strike. So what that could look like is uh, let's do left hand punch, just yeah. a roundhouse, blocking, right? Mm -hmm. Hand comes down here on the top. Nice. Then add another strike, but as you do that, pull his hand back. Whenever you're doing this in karate, and I'll start, why are you pulling this hand back? Answer, because you're grabbing something. If you're not grabbing something, there's no need to bring your hand back. Awesome. Uh, let me think. What do I like? <laughs> <laughs> there's so many options. Uh, Let's think. What you did piano and samdan, yeah. Mm. So, sim nice and simple. If Sean's gonna just punch me with his any hand, okay, right now, boom, All right, and from here, from here we do that, right. But from here I've punched him, boom, and I think that's enough. Yes, that's just the one, mm. one step. Yeah, excellent. Do you turn in your style as well? So from here, after you do this, do you turn the other way? Correct. Okay, so what? how I interpret this is, let's do <laughs> left punch, then right punch. So one, two, you ready? So, oh, straight. Sorry, straight, straight. Okay. Straight. One, oh, and two. From here, step across, bring the hands up, you want to get them intertwined, and as you step, you want to pull down, like so. So, Carter? Yep. Block. Nice. Block, step, grabbing the arms, and move to the other side. That's my awesome. interpretation. Yeah. So like we, this is a great thing, like we haven't done that much application. So with application, you can pretty much do anything you can like possibly think yeah. of, right? Um, the main criteria for it to be good is that it has to work. Um, imagination is a great thing. It's a very powerful tool, but don't let that dictate what happens. You need to actually try this stuff out and make sure it works. You know, against yeah. a wide range of people. You know, big people, small people, large people, thinner people, that kind of stuff. Awesome. Uh, let me think. <laughs> uh, opening of Pyongyang Chodan for us. If you kick, left kick. Yeah, left kick. Boom. From here, I twist in, and then push in, and then come up and smash. Right. Again? Again, and do that again. Yeah, so straight kick, block, and I catch him, my hip comes in like this, and then I can smash him from here. Alright, take him down. Boom. 
Okay, nice. <laughs> Alright, cool, I like that. And that's simply because when we turn this way from our punch, low block, so low block, and then punch. Cool. Nice. Alright. Oh. Cut that video and we'll start another one. Go. Go where? <laughs> <laughs> it's action actually, man. Again, it is. <laughs> uh, so, we're, we're here just to muck around, sort of explore explore application for Hyong slash Kata, which are patterns of movements for pretty much any martial art. Yeah. Um, we're also seeing a lot of differences but quite a bit of similarities. For instance, first move of Pinon Shodan, for me, Matsubashi Rusta was like that. But if you watch if I, yeah, if I demonstrate his first four moves, you can see a lot of differences but you can also see similarities. You can see the bones of our kata are quite similar like that. So a bit about my training, I do Sobak Do, uh, also known as Tang Sudo, in the organization known as the Mudokuan. Um, been training for almost 12 years now and I enjoy it a lot. You would hope so. After yeah, 12 you'd years hope now. so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, training of Shoryu slash Matsubashu Karate Do in Canberra. Started training was about 14. Um, currently second down and I think it's about six years training minus one because of a gap year. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, still doing it, still learning, and that's one of the m most important things as well. No matter how high you are, you're always learning, you're always training, you're always getting stronger, better, and faster. There's never an end to a journey, really. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, what got you into training? Uh, so, Shoran Rue wasn't my first style. Okay. I did some styles back in France when I was in like nine. I yep. can't remember what it was. But I think, I think I was inspired by the movie Karate Kid, the original. Not the Jaden Smith. <laughs> I want to make that perfectly clear. Not the Jaden Smith version. The original, the better one. Um, and yeah, just a great story. <laughs> but, so I actually thought all these years, the crane kick. Yeah. I thought he kicks with that on this leg. leg. No, right. I thought he kicks, I kicks with this leg and then yeah. lands on it. So he goes like, ah, oh, I can't do it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I can't. Still oh, can't do it. Right here. Yeah. Then, yeah, so he switches legs. I thought it was all on the one leg. So he kicks with this leg and lands on it. It's sort of like this move. So. I'm tapping you here, and yeah. then I'm kicking you here. Yeah. So I come down, you defend that, and then boom. Nice. So, yeah, it's a strike, so yeah. Fake, and then yeah. strike. Exactly. So once you hit, once I hit you here, you're thinking about... Tap up feedback. Back, and then bang. It's a tap up feedback. Yeah. Like, do you know Muchini? Or Mochi? Mm -hmm. So Mochi is like a Japanese rice, that's, you know, sticky rice. Oh yeah, yeah, Mochi. So we have this thing called Muchini, so, or Muchi. So if we just grab wrist. So you know, we have this tap up feedback, we know where we are. Um, Okay, so touch my nose. Touch your nose. Yeah. All right. Now close your eyes. Now touch my nose. It's a bit hard. I can't see you. Now we're in contact. Yep. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Now touch my nose. I can find you. Yeah. yeah. You Thank see. You in the eye as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but having that tactile feedback gets you um, a much more better sense of the opponent. So it's always a good idea to do some routine drills. So pushing in and pushing out. Yep. Using your hips. But also maintain that contact. Contact is really important. Mm -hmm. From I kept going back, and then he fell off the end of the, the dojo. So, <laughs> no, so there's no. It's just a matter of moving the wrist, it's, sort of. I would say more the elbow. So you punch, you yeah. move your elbow up. Yeah. But again, this isn't. You could use this as a power move, but I think it, think of it as more like a, a distraction, a flinching reaction. Yeah. You get something in your face, you're gonna flinch a bit. Yeah. But as course. you do that, you're gonna go that. Gives that momentary. Yeah. Strike. Of course. Yeah. But that's my interpretation. Yeah. Nice, that's cool. Nice man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to sparring, but hey, just no one is normal, until, yeah. until we train. And that's one of the yeah, things. Exactly. But when it comes to like normal shit, then each time you do that sort of stuff, you get thing. you learn something out of it. Exactly. Different people, different experiences, yeah, exactly. different lessons. Yeah, exactly. Question: What's what's the meaning of dojo? Well, uh, I'm not really good at English language. Um, no, as in like well, or oh, personal meaning. Yeah. Oh. Place of learning, place of community, yeah. place of maybe self growth, even. That's my interpretation. I see it as a second home, mainly because you're with people that you train with, you know, 
socialize, yeah. work with, mm -hmm. yeah. find ways to improve with each other, you know? Yeah. Hang out. So and just... hang out, even outside you can do things. But So it's pretty much a second home, a second family to me, pretty much. Okay. Interesting, a lot of um, uh, sensei, senseis, particularly Asian senseis, they have their own in-house dojo. Yeah. And if you're lucky enough to train them, it's quite magical to see what they've <laughs> yeah, yeah. built themselves. Yeah. Uh, there was this one guy I met in London. Um, sorry, not London, but in England. Yeah. And he invited me to his dojo to train for a bit, like in-house dojo. But he didn't finish it. It was just a shit. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> but way. I was the first person to ever enter that, and that's quite sacred to me, you know, being able to take part in someone else's, you know, passion and, yeah. you know, allowing that. It, and you're right, it is a sense of community. And... He, to some extent, it's a global community. I yeah. mean, this guy and I, we were in the same style. We met once in Okinawa on a seminar, but I reached out to him and we trained. You know, yeah. every uh, month or so, I went down there to where he was and just trained. Yeah. thing I most likely see, though, is, is to me, the dojo that you start in and that you train in is basically your second fam, your karate, your karate family, because you started with them, you trained with them, you're familiar with everyone. Yeah, you meet new people, but... You get what I mean? Mm. Like you develop a connection with all these people and it's pretty much a family, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got people that I talk to that are outside of my dojo and that do the same martial art, but it's not they're not as yeah. important as say someone like Jeffrey or Yeah. You get what I mean? Cheers, family man. family is a, <laughs> family is a good word. I prefer the word team. It doesn't seem like it, but yeah. martial arts is a team sport because yeah. you are working together. It's maybe in an individual journey. Yeah. But you're working together, and that's how I see it. No worries. Awesome. Cool. That's great. Yeah. Good nice. stuff. Cheers. Been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Has it died yet? Uh, no, it's still going. Oh wow. Shit. Sure. God, man. We could have had more content. Oh, 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 my bad. God damn. Whatever you see, where'd you get this cameraman? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've Craig's got, list? I've got, I've got on the spot. We don't have Craigslist here. Gumtree? Yes. <laughs> we call it Gumtree. God. Or Facebook. Nowadays, Facebook. Oh, yeah. Facebook Market. Market. That's the worst. Facebook Market. <laughs> That's the dodgiest. I think crap. it's not as dodgy as Craigslist. So I've heard stories from that place. So yeah. Craigslist. Yeah. yeah Craigslist. Where do they use that from? That's I heard of it. America. 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 UK. All that. Gum Gumtree sounds nicer. Yeah, it sounds like it's nice. Aussie. It's it. very Aussie. Right? It is very Aussie. Like, <laughs> it's just a, it's just a word, man. Yeah. Like, it's just gum tree. Like, you could call it anything. Like, it's just gonna be one thing. No one goes. They're gonna if you're lucky. But yeah, oh, I reckon they grab something. Just that's true. Yeah, smash it. and and that's something else we should call. You know, weapon defense against weapons because you know, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Hey, hey. Do, oh, do we bow or not? Oh no, we just... Okay, okay. <laughs> Fast and furious. <laughs> right, thank you.